you're part of the OFM pro team, how long have you been part of the academy? Um, I'd say about a year and a half. Um, I actually got hired by Jan. He kind of contacted me a couple of years ago, and things never happened. I think he kind of um, found a space for me on his team, kind of weird, right timing, and we just really clicked. And I happened to work and do a lot of fashion shows. I did about 40 this year. I do stuff for London Fashion Week, Britain's Next Top Model Tour, and now the clothes show. And of course, I get all of my assistance from AOFM. When I come and teach at the academy, I'm always taking notes of star students, not only on talent and makeup, but personality, because you got to be with somebody from 6.30 in the morning to 11 at night. I want someone that's, you know, going to be upbeat and cheerful and, you know, be willing to be, work hard. We're backstage here at the Globe Show, and I've got Annabelle here, who's a member of the Student Pro Team. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. This is the lovely lady who's responsible for doing my makeup today. You did a fantastic job, I might add. Thank you very much. So, who's been your mentor? Um, Rachel Wood, particularly. I've done quite a few bits and pieces with her, so that's been exciting. But also, I've done other things with other makeup artists who taught me at the Academy as well. How long have you been a part of the Academy? Um, I actually started in February, March, so not that long, but I've had loads of opportunities. Since then, which you know, considering the amount, the small amount of time, it's been it's been great. Rachel Wood just did your makeup. You look fabulous. Thank you very much. Thank goodness for concealer. That's all I'm going to say. And mascara, and blusher, and lip gloss. <laughs> but no, I love Rachel Wood. She's brilliant. She's amazing. So in your makeup bag, what can you not live without? Right. Mm. Gotta have concealer. Um, I like. Girl's best friend. Girl's best friend. Gotta have it, especially with the early mornings. Definitely covers a multitude of sins. Um, eyelash curlers. Gotta curl your lashes before you put mascara on. Otherwise, there's no point. Um, gloss and blusher. Concealer, gloss, blusher, mascara, foundation, powder. No. And hairbrush. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm I'm really high maintenance. No, I'm not. I've just got a little makeup bag, and I just. I make don't it think work. you are actually. I can make like I can use like lip glosses for cheeks and eyes. And on the and, like, top of your yeah. I mean, I kind of. I style it out like that sometimes, just so you don't have so much in your makeup bag. But I'm a girl, I love products. More the merrier. Don't we all? Love it. The bags yeah. just like never ends like Mary Poppins. Like fighting to get in there. But yeah, it's all good. Good luck tonight. I'm sure you're going to shine. So thanks for talking to us. Cheers, darling. Bye. The clothes show is all about what's hot and what's not. What would you say is hot for this season? Well, this season, the gladiator shoe, the, you know, the spiky heel is the one that all the fashion editors are pushing. But I'm personally a fan of comfort. So I would say the studded black gladiator in the shoe department, still going with footless tights. Um, I'm mixing things up a bit, different rest references. So you've got a floral print dress with a biker jacket. Coming through, because we've obviously seen the um, winter stuff already, we see it in February, so there's a lot of studs, there's a lot of leather, so all of that kind of studded look that we're seeing now will go through. So if you're thinking of investing in it, you'll have some longevity out of it. I mean, what's your opinion about the makeup artists and the hairstylists backstage here today? They've been brilliant, it's so good, so professional. Um, the models look great, uh, the hair and makeup I think has been the best that we've had. Um, for the shows. Okay, you say that it's the best makeup so far. Um, last year, was it a different makeup company then? It was a different makeup company. Um, you know, I felt they, they, they achieved a lot, and I think, you know, we, we took the clothes show into a different direction last, last year in December, and I felt that we've just improved on that and we're kind of taking it to the next level and we need to keep improving on that, you know, that's what this is all that's about. That's what fashion's all about as yeah, well, yeah. reinventing, keep you know. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep it alive. Keep it alive.